All right, guys, welcome back. We're uh, back working on the jet boat today, and we're going to finish up the steering on it. I'm going to have to go, like, design and 3D print a part for it, and I'll go show you that right now, what we're going to do. We're going to take this steering, you can see right here, real wobbly, wobbly and loose, and uh, weld a piece of steel from here up to here, and I'm going to have a 3D printed bushing here similar to this one down here to hold it from moving. So let's go on the computer and do that. Alright, we'll make a circle. This is going to be 16. All right, here's the 3D printed part. It's the white plastic part that I printed off the, for the steering bushing. I had to ream out the inside a little bit to get it to fit over the collar, but I bolted it to a big, thick fender washer, which I'm gonna weld to. So we'll get, the, get this put in the boat and uh, weld our piece of metal in. It's nice and snug on there. There's a little bit of plate, but not terrible. Now we can weld our piece of steel from here to here. Just using some flat stock. Just gotta figure out that measurement, grind it down, and get it to fit. Alright, so there's the 3D printed bushing I made and my bracket going down. Weld it in at the bottom, so I gotta get painted. And it did stiffen. This up quite a bit. There's a little bit of play in that one, but down here there's about none. So that should work. It's nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. Now from this we're going to go on to figuring out how to mount this throttle up in here. Alright, so what we got figured on the throttle is this right here. When you're sitting in there, you can grab it and squeeze it just fine. I took a piece of the handlebar, uh, notched on each end, and so it would fit up in the groove. And uh, seemed to work pretty good. This is nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. So that works. And the kill switch over on the other side. We welded a little bar in right here, and this is mounted right here, which is nice and solid. And uh, the, the tether can go on you and still be pulled off, and you can start it with your left hand and use the throttle with your right if you need to. So that's pretty much it for the steering and the seat and all that. Next thing is this cover. I'll probably do that after we test everything out, but... Get a cover built for this, and the front up here is totally done. <clears throat> now onto the back. We gotta finish mounting this, getting it all straightened up, and uh, straighten these wires up, and then getting the battery mounted, like recessed down into the foam. I'm gonna use a smaller battery. Hopefully, it's enough. It's out of a quad, but uh, it should work all right. Alright guys, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching, and uh, that's probably it for today. And I'll be working on some more today, it's, but the, it won't be on this video, it'll be on the next video. So keep your eye out for the next day or two, and, hope, and not hopefully, but this week I'm going to have this thing on the water. Uh, out running around with my wife on the big boat. Should be pretty fun. We'll see which boat is faster. Pretty sure to, pretty sure to be this one. <laughs>